All right, how are you doing today, guys? Welcome back to another day of 7 Great Math. This is Mr. Gomez, your favorite teacher in the whole world. And today, we're going to be writing two-step inequalities. Now, before I do that, please go ahead and consider subscribing if you haven't done so. Also, turn the notification bell on. And if you want to support the channel, you know there's a link down in the description. And other than that, let's get right into it. All right, so again, I have done a few videos of, I think I have a playlist about equations and inequalities. I'll leave a playlist for you link over here. Make sure you check it out. And if you haven't seen my other channel, check it out, MTV Alex. And we're gonna start working. This is gonna be my classroom assignment. I might record a video on this later. I might not, I don't know. But for now, we're gonna be working on two pages. And this is from the Go Math book, uh, Texas edition, whatever. And we're gonna be working on this video, we're gonna be doing the read teach section. And on the next video, we're gonna be doing side D. So let's go ahead and get started. Just before we start, we have a few things that we gotta cover. And that's just uh, kind of like a review on inequalities and same things like that. So inequalities, inequalities are basically solved almost the same way as an equation the inequalities are solved just like an equation except now instead of the equal sign we're gonna have an inequality sign what's an inequality sign so for inequality signs we have four of them we have greater than less than greater than or equal and less than or equal and that's it so there's four signs now now, this is where you guys are going to be helping me right now because you already saw this on your other math class. What's the difference between the two top one and the two bottom ones? Can anybody tell me the difference? Okay, let me help you a little bit. How will you graph X is greater than 3 on the number line? How will you graph that on a number line? Number three and the arrow going to the left. Arrow going to the left? So if you have, let's say you're going to have your error, so you have your three and then your error going this way. Now, what do you do? Am I missing anything here? A circle. A circle. What about a circle? Close circle. Close circle. <coughs> Open circle. Okay, so now we're talking about a few different things. We're talking about open circles and closed circles. Okay, and this is very important, especially when graphing. Today we're going to be, this is just a pre-review on inequalities. So we have what is called open circles and closed circles. And it goes depending on the inequality sign. So if we look at the two on the top, what circle do we get? Open or closed circle for this one's at the top. Open. What does that mean? What does open circle mean? What is the what is the closed circle means? Because this is gonna be the closed circle, right? No. No, it has nothing to do with the signs. So you say you're gonna do an open circle in this one because that's the sign for this one, right? But what does that mean? Can four be my answer? No. Why not if my arrow is going that way? Why not? Very good. So anything greater than three. Can three be my answer? Yes. Is three greater than three? It is the same. So three cannot be my answer, right? Yes. What about hundred? Yes. Yes. What about ten? Yes. Five. Yes. Two. Yes. No. No. Zero. No. Negative three. No. 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 So what is that? open circle tells you let's come back and try this one what if my answer was this how will you graph it i mean yeah how will you graph x greater than or equal to three again i got my three what way to the right or left 
Also to the right, very good. Anything? Now my circle is gonna be open or close? Close. What does that mean? If it's close, can three be my answer? On this one right here, can three be part of my solution? Yes. Why? Or is greater than or equal to? Okay. So that means if you have an open circle, the answer is not, not included. But if you have a closed circle or this right here on the bottom, the answer is, is included. Okay, that's what the difference is. Any questions on this? Throw back a little bit. We get in there? All right. Now, what if you had like that? How would you graph it? To the right or to the left? Uh, to the left. Open or close? Uh, open. And to the left? Yes. Like so? Why? Why wouldn't you go this way? It's three less than X, right? X more X more than three. Isn't that the same thing? Didn't I just flip them? So these two things are the same. So yes, it goes this way. So anytime you have the variable on the right, just flip the tortilla, flip the whole thing, including the sign. Very important. Okay? So just pay attention to that. Okay, let's get into this thing real quick. Now we're gonna be writing two-step inequalities. Writing two-step inequalities. So we're not necessarily gonna solve them. We're gonna have vocabulary words that we're gonna use to write the inequality. For example, step one. So in inequalities, just like equations, we have two things. We have a division or multiplication, that's the one thing. And the second thing is gonna be adding or subtracting, either or. But you only have two steps, right? Just like an equation. So, we're gonna write this in four steps. On the next video, when I do this ID, I'm not gonna do the four steps. I'm gonna, we're gonna do it a little bit easier, faster, okay? But for now, step one, description indicates whether it's a division or multiplication. So we're gonna read the words and tell whether it's a division or multiplication. So for example, one half of a number. Is that a division or multiplication? One half. Division. It's a division, a fraction, right? And you write it like so. If you had two thirds of a number, you write it like that, right? One sixth, one eighth. That's a division. If you have three times a number, how will you write that? Three times a number, is that a multiplication or division? So you will write that as three times. Right? Something like that. Any questions so far? Multiplication division. If you guys can see over here, move over to this side. That way you can see the board. All right. Now, step two. We're going to find out the words that is going to tell us whether we're adding or subtracting. Okay? For example, less 25. What does less mean? Negative. Less or minus. Negative or minus. That, right? or decrease by, right? That's another vocabulary word that we need to start recognizing. And just write it like so. So now we have the two parts of before the inequality sign. Now we're gonna use the, combine the two steps. And this is gonna be part of the assignment. The number seven on your assignment, you do the first part, the second part, and then combine them together, okay? You combine them together. One half of a number minus 25 is right there. 
Last thing, we gotta look at what inequality sign we're using. It says, it's more than. And for that one, we use that one. It's more than 15. So we combine everything together and we get, we get that stuff. One half of a number, or a number divided by two, decreased by 25, or minus 25, or less 25, is greater than 15, or is more than 15, exceeds 15, something along, along those lines. So we have two samples that we're gonna work on over here at the bottom. Number one, or word problem. Step one, we're gonna recognize whether we're adding or subtracting and write it down. Remember, most of the time when you're adding and subtracting, that goes with the variable, okay? The variable is gonna be the letter on the inequality. So, number one, five less than three times a number is greater than the opposite of eight. Step one, let's look for the multiply or divide. What tells me what's the multiplication or division? Five less, is that multiplication or division? That's, that's five less, is that multiplication or division? That's subtracting, right? Yes, hold on. Three times a number, is that multiplication or division? Three X, right? Right there. A number, whenever you see a number, that's gonna be your variable. Now, step two, add or subtract. What I found that is five less, right? So minus five. Step three, we're gonna combine them two. It says five less than three times a number. This is where you gotta be paying attention, especially when you have subtraction. What are you taking away from what? Are you taking five away from the three times a number? Or are you taking three times a number away from five? What's happening here? What are you taking away from what? It says five less than three times a number is greater than the opposite of eight. What are you taking away? The five or the three X? What are you taking away? The five or the three X? You're taking away the three X. So you're gonna do five minus three X like so. That's telling me that I'm taking three X away from five. But what's happening over here? Read it again. Five less than three times a number. So we're gonna have to do three X minus five, right? I combine them too. And now let's look for my inequality sign. Greater than the opposite of eight. What does it mean by the opposite of eight? What's the opposite of eight? Very good. Anytime you see the opposite, that just means negative, right? So we're gonna do three X minus five greater than, I'm gonna use this one, the opposite of eight. And that's it, I wrote it. Super simple. Now let's look at number two. 13 plus five times a number is no more than 30. Let's look for my multiplication or division first. What's my multiplication or division over here? So how do I write that? 5x. And then add or subtract, that's my second step. 13 plus. Step three, we're gonna combine them. Does it matter how you put, what, which one you put first in this one? If everything's positive, it really doesn't matter. Literally, it says 13 plus five times a number. That's it, literally what it says, right? Lastly, let's look at my inequality sign. Not done there, hold on. My inequality sign is no more than 30. Can it be 30? Can it be more than, can it be 31? No. No, can it be 30? No. Why not? Because it says because no more than. Is 30 more than 30? No. no. 
So can it be 30? Yes. yes. So what in the quality sign are we using? No more than. Less than or equal to 30. And then you have 13 plus 5x. And that's it. That's how you write them. So on the next video, we're going to go over this whole worksheet over here so that I can prepare you a little better to do the actual assignment. But for now, if you learned something today, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, please go ahead and subscribe and turn the notification bell on. If you want to support the channel, link in the description. Other than that, check out my MTV Alex YouTube channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.